Resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth. All right. Thank you uh, for that. I'd like to hand it over to our Toastmaster of the day. And that is our presiding officer, sorry, Toastmaster Tarun. Very good morning to all of you. So today I'll just share a story which many of you would have heard. So this is also one of uh, the Toastmaster meeting which I attended. Like if you hold a glass full of water, right? If I ask what, how much time can you hold? See, I've just taken an example of water bottle. So I'm holding it. So how, how long I can hold it? Yeah. So like if I hold it for a few minutes, it won't be a problem. Even if I hold it for hours, it may not be a problem. But if I hold it for whole day, maybe my hands become numb and may, maybe I may get paralyzed also. So similar is with our thoughts and worries. Right? We keep on thinking a lot of things which are not required to be thought of or not to be given importance so much. So if we hold those thoughts and worries for a prolonged duration, then it would disturb you mentally, physically as well, right? So it, it, it's a life life. Whatever worries or situation demands, you don't put your whole thought into that process. Give only that much importance which it, it really matters. Like don't be too much indulged into those thoughts and worries. Otherwise, you won't focus on your right thing. That is the message I wanted to pass out, pass it on to all of you for the day. I'm also glad to inform few announcement I would like to make. First is uh, guest Nikki, who was our guest last week. Now she is a member. She has joined. So warm welcome to her. We also one more guest, uh, one more member who has become one more guest who has become member. I think is not present today. Amit, right? So we have two members who have joined last week. Today we have T M Bhushan, who will present the book of the week. But before we go to the book of the week, uh, we have some few guests who, <coughs> whom I would like to give their introduction. Maybe you can, you can come here and just give a brief introduction. Okay. Uh, so hi, uh, good morning to everyone. I am Vishakha Fadke and I belong to this place only and joining Toastmasters Club was on my to-do list since five years. But uh, due to some personal responsibilities, I could not make out. And today, finally, I made it to come here and uh, soon I will be joining this club as a member. And looking forward to just be with all of you and be here with passion. I don't have any other goal as of now. Thank you. Hello, I am Haripriya and I am a student in MSU. I am doing archaeology and I also have a passion, a little passion for, you know, teaching students. So I teach students also. So I just wanted to, you know, have a very, very productive Sunday. So that's why I joined this class. Hello everyone, good morning. I am Tisha Bajwani from MSU, studying BLLB five years. And I have it's my first day. Oh. So I've joined to improve my public speaking skills more. So I have joined your class. So let us move to our main agenda. Before we go to the main agenda, let us invite TM Bhushan to present the book of the week. TM Bhushan. So we nowadays we always go to the internet and read about the management subjects. 
that how the management works what we should do how we should deal with the people and things around it it is very difficult when we read those subjects and get things out of it you know that we here when we think about uh, something passing on the message we focus on the stories because stories are the good way that we imbibe and So we have to be on the books of text. And our identity is a particular time. What we are going to do is and suddenly we still think that okay, we may or we may not be told. But what this book says is that we cannot just now find out who is the slowest person. The slowest person is simply on the fastest person is simply the fast. When you are putting the slowest person on the fast, you are not going to improve your Identify the slowest person. If you want the slowest person, actual scenario when you go to the person, we can't pay the person. That's not there. But we are just to identify that what is the slowest person. If you can improve upon your problem, then putting all your activities toward that problem, how you can. Perform on the other lines that it more and more. The concept is whatever you are talking about, it is concept is that whatever the water line should focus here on the attention. The entire system gets distance. This is only one of the aspects. When Alex goes to the factory, he was overrun by the red rails. Then suddenly bounce into his professor. He gives him the some question that he should ask himself. That if those questions are asked, that he will get the answer by on this. Asking those questions to himself, Alex find out what he should do. So he asks for the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. And again, new bottlenecks are being created. The focus shift to the new world. So that's why he makes the entire process question. You can see all the facts. That was a very good When it comes to the our life, a period of most of our self improvement. So this book also helps self improvement. Where right? we should work way of constraint. We all have the constraint. But we should not be thinking about those constraints as well. We should be thinking that how we can improve our output, how we can bring out something more to those constraints. We get more resources out of it. Whatever we have available, we should maximize the output of those performance. So, this is from me. If you have a program, go.
They are not much sector by us. And whatever we call water inventions and the discoveries of the modern science, they are the combination of modifications. for timer a for our counter and b for the marine so i would like to call one by uh, those startings one by one to keep track of the time spent by each speaker we have a timer i'll call him logo file because he speaks like someone upper class so i would like to welcome timer toastmaster ashish please uh, welcome toastmaster ashish with a big round of applause Good morning to all Toastmasters and guests. As TM Sakit said, I am the timer, and my job is to log the times that is taken by you during your speech. The timing is important for two main reasons. One is that it shows that you are capable of conveying whatever message you wish to convey within that boundary set by an external organization. And the second is that it shows that you are respectable, respectable towards other people's time. So, uh, as she said, we have three sections. One is the prepared speech. Uh, for which the time limit is five to seven minutes. At the end of five minutes, I'll show a green card, and at the end of seven minutes, I'll show a red card. Next, we have the impromptu speech section, for which the time limit is one to two minutes. At the end of one minute, I'll show a green card, and at the end of two minutes, I'll show a red card. Finally, we have the evaluation speech section, for which the time limit is two to three minutes. At the end of two minutes, I'll show a green card. At the end of three minutes, I'll show a red card. For all three sections, halfway between the green card and the red card, I'll show a yellow card. That's the midpoint of the time limits. Now, for all these uh, different uh, themes, except for the uh, impromptu speech section, you have a minus 30 second grace period. That is, you can end your speech 30 seconds before the green card is shown. And for all sections, this time including the impromptu speech, you also have a plus 30 second grace period. Meaning, even after I show the red card, you can continue speaking for 30 seconds and still not be disqualified. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Ashish. You have explained very beautifully. Now it's the time to welcome someone who is paragon for every role, Toastmaster Adil. For Toastmaster Adil, I would like to say that he's always appreciated for his keen discretion as he never leaves anyone. 
hanging during his evaluations and that is likely one of the reason that he's been given dual roles today that is our accountant and grammarian of the day in which he'll keep track of the uh, um, during the meeting and uh, the good and not so good usage of the grammar uh, grammar so toastmaster adil i believe that you will do justice to your responsibility i welcome you to explain more. thank you so much toastmaster of the day toastmaster shakti good morning everyone actually i feel humble because it was a huge introduction for me because i am playing two role and to help you I, i won't create ambiguity between the both both the roles so i would be using two tiles first for our counter and second for the grammar so as name suggest our counter so you all might have experienced someone who might have injured leg he or she might be using a crutch as a support similarly in our speeches most of the time the injured sentence here injured sentence means if you are thinking and the words are not being framed that that is known as injured you are not able to frame a sentence secondly you have completed a sentence and you want to move to the next sentence but you all know our mind takes time to think and frame so that's an second injured sentence and third we want to go and deliver something but we keep on repeating something because we don't know what to speak next or to frame a complete sentence these three are injured sentence and an unintended or unwanted crutch words tend to come in this are you know so like but and and it depends upon person to person each person has his or her her own crutch word similarly there is a universal sound that is a and um this is common for each and every speaker so basically these are the crutch and filler words so i would be taking note of this word as a conscious friend because this word come out unconsciously so as a conscious body i would be playing a role as a counter to help you figure out this words and i would report out when called upon by g now i would move to the next tile and get into the shoes of grammarian there is a phrase that you are never fully dressed without a smile similar goes with the sentences your sentences are not fully dressed or prepared without a proper grammar so as a grammarian i have following responsibility the first is to note proper good and good usage of grammar as well as word and at the same time note the improper or incorrect usage of grammar as well as word second is i have to enrich your knowledge because i am a grammar teacher so i bring in two things that is the word of the day that is wod and phrase of the day so word of the day today is impeccable it's an adjective adjective usually modify noun that is impeccable person impeccable game and you might be thinking he he is just blabbering about impeccable give us the meaning so the meaning is free from fault or blame that is flawless to give an example adil took up the grammarian role presuming he has impeccable grammar it's a height of assumption second is phrase of the day that is get off the ground it means that to bring to to begin to operate or succeed in a successful way that is to start to give an example today's toastmaster meeting got off the ground with the help of the address of toastmaster kuldeep so that is to start something i urge you all that please utilize or use this word during your speeches as well as when you step outside this room also if someone uses the word please appreciate by giving a thumbs up that appreciation goes a long and to challenge you all i have brought in something different that is unconventional from a grammarian role it's an open book test so welcome to the class i would give you the next slide please these are the i, I call them deadly five because as a non native english speaker when we are using a colloquial language this five things are the deadly thing that erupts our language so first is like versus as the usage of both the words so and the fourth is past perfect that is had and present perfect that is have and has 
last but not the least articles a and the this is an open book test i would be judging i won't say judging but evaluating most of the session on this aspect and i would report when called upon by g so back to you to thank you dost master adi you have explained with so much of satiety now reverting to my statement and how can we be of service to someone uh, it's very simple engaging in acts of kindness and compassion towards other and there are various ways to express this donation of physical items such as, uh, such as food water or clothing i personally follow this and i share here my personal anecdote and how it got off from the ground actually uh, when i was preparing when i was preparing for gate exam someone suggested my mom that if sakshi fed black dog categorically black dog then she would crack the gate exam even though i didn't believe in such things but again mom that mom she insisted me so i started feeding all the dogs because i didn't want to be racist as and you won't believe it became a custom eventually and it started feeling like something was missing if i didn't feed them some day and when i moved to vadodara i continued this habit and even calculated one more i started feeding birds as and since then i have formed a very beautiful bond with these speechless creatures because i have realized so many things that i have started connecting with the world and enjoying the natural beauty now i find joy and relaxation watching birds having their grains at feed early in the morning i have become accountable and responsible as i started taking care of them i have become humble compassionate towards other data i'll tell you later how and most importantly i have inspired others to show empathy towards at first my friends used to say teasing me when dogs approaching me in hope of food and they used to say dekh tere dost aa gaye see your friends have come and now i have seen a drastic change in them they are more fervent than me to feed them saying that there is no one for them is other than us so i am very overjoyed to see that they have changed for good and before sharing other ways now we'll move to our first part of today's meeting that is the prepared speeches our first speaker is toast master janki but before calling her let me call her evaluator toast master tarun who always brings enlightenment in every room by sharing interesting anecdotes please welcome toast master tarun with a huge round of applause thank you so much timur <clears throat> so my focus speaker for today is tm janki her path is presentation ma mastery she will be giving her project 2 level 1 speech the purpose of a speech is write a speech with a purpose and a speech title is belief the king maker of life timer please note her time would be 5 to 7 minutes over to you tm now it's the time to call someone with very adorable the one who always amazes her with her subtle performances please welcome toast master janki with a huge round of applause Master Janki, please, the king maker of life, please, the king maker of life, Master Janki. All the best. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the Day. We are not what happens to us; we are what we believe to be. This statement emphasizes the power of belief that can shape our life. how many of you agree with this yes i personally agree with, uh, i strongly agree with this statement as i have built i have experienced the impact of belief in my life good morning fellow toastmasters and esteemed guests once a man had a conversation with lion man asked the lion that why you are the king of jungle the lion replied that i have that one quality that no animal has the man surprisingly asked what is that quality that make you king the then the lion replied that the belief that i am the king i repeat the belief that i am the king the story illustrates the belief 
the king maker of life which can help us to shape our attitude actions and leading to to the uh, desired results i would like to share a um, story of my own life where i have experienced a strong belief that helps me to achieve my goals i will request to share the image so the first step is having a strong belief in ourselves so after my ssc i firmly decided to become and to become the best architect and open an architectural firm which stands in terms of quality innovation creativity and client satisfaction so this was my first step towards the strong strong belief now coming to attitude uh having strong belief in myself was not easy as i have faced many challenges leaving my family uh, and moving to the new city after my ssc having new surrounding was also challenging but anyhow i have managed all the challenges then i have i challenged myself to pursue bachelor's in architecture from reputed for, uh, university ms university that was no that was full of obstacles and the big of obstacle that that i have faced is the and to crack entrance exam so uh, and also i have faced many setbacks but because i have strong belief in myself i that are reflected to my attitude and step by step i cleared all my pathway that then coming on result i am proud to say that i have achieved what i uh, whatever i have believed in myself uh, and uh, uh, my attitude i uh, have been reflected as a result in my life and still uh, the architecture firm is thriving thriving for me right mm. so uh, in conclusion i would like to re uh, reiterate that we are not what happens to us we are what we believe to become uh, belief is the power that can shape our attitude action Uh, that can shape our attitude actions uh, and leading to our ultimate outcome i can say that uh, a strong belief in myself and attitude towards my goal uh, attitude towards my goal uh, are the uh, are the uh, are the strong force towards my achievement and so fellow toastmaster and esteemed guests uh, repeat after me i am the king of my life i am the king of my life i am the king of my life. so friends believe in ourselves rock our life and achieve our dream with this over to you toast master thank you toast master janki for the wonderful speech and indeed we become what we believe okay now our second speaker is toast master kalpesh but before calling her let me call evaluator uh, who is one of the finest speaker of this club toast master nikhil Please welcome him with a huge round of applause. Good morning, all. Today we have our second speaker, Toastmaster Kalpes. Uh, he is going to present his level two project three speech. His pathway is presentation mastery, and objective of his speech is to share his own experience of bringing. of being uh, 
enlightener this is what the title of his speech timer please note uh, time limit is 5 to 7 minute and i wish you all the best toastmaster kalpesh over to you toastmaster of the day thank you thank you toastmaster nikhil now please welcome one of the courteous speaker toastmaster kalpesh please welcome him with a huge round of applause thank you toastmaster of the day toastmaster sakshi tamso ma jyotir gamaya asato ma sad gamaya and mrityor ma amrit gamaya how many of you know these lines it is expected many of you are already aware of these lines because this is the very powerful you know sanskrit mantras and it is the heart of mentor and mentee relationships i will share my experience as a mentor as a mentee today uh, in context with these lines the first one is tamso ma jyotir gamaya its meaning is lead me from darkness to the light this is exactly the role of the mentor mentor enlightens the path of the mentee so that the mentee can find his way towards his goal mentor eradicates the ignorance the darkness of ignorance and provide the light of knowledge and with that knowledge a mentee can achieve his goal this is a thapi it is in gujarati it is called as thapi and it is used to you know wash the clothes in older days this is a mentor is one of the mentor for me do you know how in first standard i was a very poor student and i always run away from the schools escape from the school by showing many excuses six month passes and i didn't even able to write the alphabet of gujarati at that time my mom took this and dragged me to the school and warned me that if you miss the school i will beat with you from that day onwards i never miss the school and now this happy is become a source of light for me and i achieve you know the highest degree of my education that is a phd in phd my mentor is dr ashish a bhattacharya he also work in a analogous way in one and half year i was working on one topic called natural product isolation i was working for one and half year but i didn't get success then i realized that this is not the topic of interest for me i went to him i explained my concern and then he realized and he guided me and he allowed me a six month to find my topic of interest and after that i chose a medicinal chemistry as one of my topic and completed my phd in three years after that okay. <clears throat> the second one is uh sorry asatoma sadgamaya uh, the meaning of this is lead me from untruth to the truth it is also one of the main characteristics of a mentor that it provides you the feedback the feedback in terms of you know realistic and constructive feedback mentor you know uh, uh, helps mentee to find the uh, weakness in the mentee and the, and the mentee uh, and 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 the mentor helps mentee to you know overcome that weaknesses in toastmaster to to toastmaster gitanjali ma'am is my mentor and you know everyone that she is one of the impeccable evolutor and provides and pro, pro, pro provides the feedback with that i i am trying to improve myself so thank you toastmaster gitanjali for that and the last one is mrutyorma uh, amrit gamaya the meaning of this is lead me from death to the immortality this is something uh, for a spiritual mentorship someone has a spiritual mentor one someone has two but what i believe that everything in this universe 
every things, every person, the entire universe, the entire existence is the mentor for me. Because everything is there for certain purpose. And once that purpose is complete, that things get destroyed. Therefore, nothing is immortal in this life. My mantra for life is maximum happiness and minimum hurting. You should help other. You should, you know, feel other people happy. Uh, you should make people happy feeling. Okay. With this, uh, I believe that uh, mentorship and mentor is the relationship in which mentee grow with the help of the mentor. I finally, I would like to uh, thank each one of my mentors, that is uh, my parents, my teachers, my friends, my colleagues, my friends, and each one of you. Thank you. Igniting us idea. Now our third speaker is Toastmaster Jyoti, and her evaluator is Toastmaster Hiren. And it's very true when the evaluator is Toastmaster Hiren, you need not to worry because he'll not only give the quality feedback but also bring the liveliness to that. So Toastmaster Hiren, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Toastmaster of the day for a wonderful introduction. Uh, Toastmaster Janki herself is an impeccable speaker, and she, uh, Jyoti, uh, Toastmaster Jyoti, that's what I say. <laughs> you did not understand properly. Uh, Toastmaster Jyoti is an impeccable speaker, and um, she has chosen Motivational Strategy Level 1 Project 4. Her objective of the speech is evaluation and feedback, and um, with this speech, I would like to provide her feedback whether her speech conveyed her message properly or not, whether her speech has motivated the audience or not, and her speech uh, uh, made connection with the audience or not. And uh, speech title is either love me or judge me. With this title, I am really curious what she has to say. Thank you, and over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Hiren. Now, please welcome Toastmaster Jyoti, who has her name enlightened us n number of times through her ideas. And I believe I should spread the same as her title says. So, uh, please welcome Toastmaster Jyoti with new John and Thank you, Toastmaster Jyoti. Now, please welcome Toastmaster Jyoti Good morning, everyone. And namaste to everyone. If you judge, people, you don't have time to love them. This is a very famous quote by Mother Teresa. How many you believe in this quote? I am a firm believer of this quote and I have experienced this personally many times in my life. So I would like to say, uh, share one of my personal story with all of you. Before I share the story, I would like to tell you about my cooking skill because this story is related with the cooking skill. I never developed my interest in cooking. I do cooking only out of necessity. So people many times judge me for this, but I share it openly. I don't like cooking at all. So one day my daughter asked me, Mama, please prepare Besan Ke Laddu the way Nani is making. So Besan Ke Laddu itself was a big task for me. And she asked me the way Nani is making. So she itself was comparing me with my mother. And as she is my kid, I was very happy and I was looking forward to prepare something for her. But one thing was very, very clear in my mind that I'm going to help my child to understand that she should not compare me with my mother because both of us are different in the skills. And the other thing is, I just wanted to enjoy that process where I'm cooking for her and she's having that meal. And I was not looking for any validation from her that I'm a great cook. That was very, very clear in my mind. But it was a challenge for me that how I will explain this to a five years little kid. So I didn't think much. And uh, I started uh, making that Besan Ke Laddu. So first time, Besan Ke Laddu, when I started, it came out as, it didn't came out as Besan Ke Laddu. It, it was so tough. It was so hard. And it was so horrible that nobody could eat it. So, uh, and my daughter's reaction was like, Mama, kya apne? what have you made? And she was very upset. And I was also very upset that I couldn't, I couldn't make out. 
but i thought let me try it again i tried next time next time that hard laddu become soft laddu but it was not look like a laddu that laddu was soft laddu was in a powder form a thick powder form <laughs> but she uh, uh, able she was able to pick up with a spoon and she had it and the moment she had it her reaction was like itna acha nahi hai but chalega matlab it was not so good but it is okay so that reaction was okay for me because my child had it what i prepared that was my motto and she accepted that so the process um, uh, where i was making the laddu and she was uh, giving her reaction the process was very beautiful we had fun and uh, it was very funny and uh, i had a sweet memories with my daughter so i shared this incident with my friends and families similarly i shared this with my office colleagues in lunch time we used to discuss few personal things so i shared this very openly everybody enjoyed it i mean everybody was making fun of my cooking skill and i was okay with that but one lady out of that crowd who who was 55 years old she made some judgment about me i was not sure what was her judgment but after few days again in lunch time some discussion was going on about the parenting and child uh, childhood or something she directly told me that woman like you does not need to bother about anything because you don't even care what you have to feed to your daughter and it was something very bad to listen because somebody just passed a judgment because i am not interested in cooking and i share it openly then see i could be a below average wife i could be a average daughter but i am not a bad mother because no mother can be a bad mother so that that pinched me very badly and what happened the thoughts started fighting in my mind that am i a bad mother am i a careless mother and i don't know what was going on this and that i was thinking so much again after few days it was a dinner party at my home my mother my sister her kid my husband my kid everybody was sitting and my mother there was a seat argument going on between my daughter and my mother and my mother told my kid that if you'll go with your mother you will not have a good food you stay here i'll offer you a good food again before it heated me my daughter replied to my mother you know what she replied we'll order food from restaurant don't say anything about my mother i love her my mother and she hugged me and you know what happened the moment my daughter took stand for me she shouted everything i mean that mess it 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 just went out no judgment was there so the point here is what i learned from this story is first step when she was comparing me, with me i help her not to compare anybody with anyone i never look for any validation that was the first step second step when my colleague judgment give a judgment on me that was affected me we should not have affected why because when somebody is judging you it tells how they are not how you are so never bother let bother anybody's judgment on you and third and the very most important thing is when my daughter told me that i love my mother she is the best we are human we are here to be loved not to be judged and when you love somebody you have to tell only one thing to your close ones either love me or judge me because nobody is incapable incapable everybody is having flaws so accept people the way they are and when you love please stop being judgmental otherwise there is no love thank you for being so patient and listening so master jyoti indeed it came out to be a very beautiful story now it's the time to call upon our time of those master rashi to present the so all three speakers have qualified uh, tm janki took 5 minutes and 15 seconds tm kalpesh took 5 minutes and 18 seconds and tm jyoti took 6 minutes and 10 seconds all up thank you toastmaster aati i request toastmaster aati jyoti now with that it's a time now for the most exciting and fun session in toastmasters meeting please welcome with a big round of applause our toast table topic master तो टोस्ट मास्टर भूषण
Thank you, Mark. So, what is table topic session? The session gives the opportunity for us to grab the chance, come on the stage, take the subject, bring all the context around the subject and speak on the subject. It trains our mind that when the impromptu subject has been given, how we should deal with that subject and speak on that topic. I have eight topics around the theme, give even if we have little. So when we think we have to give something, there is no one form. There are a lot of forms in which we can give to the society, to colleagues, to our uh, uh, community. So I'll be calling the brother, I will, not, I will think that it is best that someone would like to come here and grab the opportunity to speak on the subject. So anyone would like to go first? Yeah, please. Thank you. So thank you for reminding me this part. Um, so as the theme says, sorry. Yeah. So your subject, uh, your topic is your first experience of blood donation. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Vishakha. Uh, okay, is there any other frame that I have to follow or something? About this? Uh, I still remember the first time I went for a blood donation camp. And that was uh, with my previous employer at Valsad. After that or before that, I never qualified to be a donor because my HB level was always down. So that was the best time uh, when they took the sample and they said, okay, you can uh, donate the blood. At first, when I stood there, there were resident doctors. One of them was very senior, maybe around 75 years or something. And in the entire hall, there was no female employee who had come forward to donate because most of them could have been you know below the HP level so I was there and uh, my kid was also with me he was barely three and a half years by then and the uh, doctor or the tester whoever was the uh, staff member he took my finger and then he said I'll have to just you know take a drop out of it and to check the HP level and piercing through that needle was such a horrifying feeling for me that I was all ready for taking the needle for blood donation, but just piercing to check the blood group and everything, I was very horrified. And I still remember in the entire big hall, that, that was a community hall, and I was like this. And he just pierced it, and I was like, ah! And I, uh, like, I screamed so loud that all the doctors were there, they watched me. And the eldest doctor, I remember, he came forward and said, guys, we must applaud her. Because she was so scared of piercing a needle, yet she is here to donate the blood. That was the best feeling. Thereafter, I would never qualified again. But I had a good feeling that I could be of use to someone else's life. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. And that's what we say. Blood donation is a great, uh, great cause. We should do it quite often. Uh, Sushi, I think, right? Yeah, please. So when it comes to what we can give to the community, it is the time what we can give. And what elderly people seek from us is the time. They do not want anything but our time. Our thoughts and elderly people's thoughts are quite different. And the sort of topic is what uh, your experience with elderly, uh, your experience with elderly spending your time. Sushil. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, so my topic is today how we uh, spend our time with elder people. Everyone uh, has grandmother, uh, grandfather. Uh, nowadays, what happening? Uh, because of busy schedules, everyone is busy in uh, jobs or uh, going out. 
outside and the elder people are, are at uh, home they they spend a lot of time lonely we we are busy in our job and so we don't get that idea how they feel how they are lonely so uh, once uh, i went my hometown and i met with my grandmother uh, she uh, she was so much uh, alone that uh, when i came here she wanted to grab me talk with me uh, like uh, for a long time she never spoke with somebody so we should uh, i think uh, we should uh, aware of that that elder people has very very light soul is very uh, delight they want to talk with somebody like a small child or so uh, uh, so that's important nowadays uh, we should care for elder people uh, thank you thank you The topic is when we are in daily routine, we normally get the calls for the position and the calls are though the calls may be genuine. But just sometimes we get poor calls that also happens. So, what is your thought on those calls and how you will deal with it? Because saying no to somebody, we also get affected that we are not. But, but helping everybody, that is also not. How you deal with those? Okay. I think good morning once again. Yeah, it happens a lot of times. Uh, usually, like all the uh, auto generated calls I usually block for bank, loan, and all these things, but I do not block this kind of the calls because usually I I truly respect the, the situation and they really need some sort of help, and that's why they call me. Uh, there are two things I usually uh, talk with them. The first, uh, if someone asks me, like nowadays it happens a lot of time, people ask them for the medis, uh, medical purpose, they need money. so. Uh, I I talk with politely that I can pray for whatever the disease that you will have, you will get better soon. I may not help you right now, and uh, to be very honest, I never help anyone on such kind of the phone. And I always say I already have been engaged with a couple of NGOs. They are also doing the same sort of things, and it's true. So I ask them that I may not help you right now, but I pray for your good health and I already been engaged with the other. While, as you mentioned, in malls and so many public places also people are asking over there, it seems genuine to me. So sometimes I do little help. Uh, that Because it seems genuine and that's why I do help. But over the phone, I usually use such kind of the word. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have dealt in the past, and after that, I have decided if such call comes, I will prefer the calls which is in my locality. So when I was in Bombay, I got the call, and I went to the hospital to check the person, and I directly uh, gave the money to the person only, rather than, and of course, it is not possible always, but if you get the call, try to help the local people where you can go and check it, and then pay the money directly. Uh, would you like to come, sir? Ashish. So when we say that we give help to others, there is also time when we get the help. When we get the help, sometimes we remember it for life that has impacted our life in some or other way. So your topic is something uh, help you got and you remember it. Okay. So good morning, everyone. So I joined this session uh, last week and today is my first uh, speech that I got. So thank you for that. So in life, uh, if I recall the thing, then uh, this is the one thing that re uh, reminds me that uh, when I got the interview from uh, Indian Air Force for the technical studies, uh, and then at the time, 
like it was a one of the experience lifetime experience that which i cannot forget so at that time the last session was there that uh, that was the five days interview and then the, on the last day that everybody was in a uniform in the u shape circle and then i have to stand up and uh, it was a one of the sad back that i could not uh, make it through it but uh, at the last one major come with me and then he told that uh, wherever you are right now there were abdul kalam and Abhish amitabh bachchan was also here but you don't uh, think like you could not make it you have were, uh, done very good from the last four days but there are certain criteria that uh, you could not meet but you are here then you should you must feel proud that you are something good at it so just make sure that you give effort to your another goal and then you will uh, fly with the colors so that was the one thing that one five minute discussion helped me a lot and whenever i uh, feel low or something like that i remember that thing and it it keeps me motivated so thank you very much thank you yeah please thank you for raising hand and that's what we expect that people to get us so thank you so much so your topic is which is the best donation food education work money or something else okay good morning one and all i think the best donation what we are going to give is our time जो अपन सब लोग दे रहे हैं इधर समय ही सबसे बड़ा धन माना जाता है आज के समय चाहे वो मोदी हो चाहे एज एम लॉयर सो वी गिव अ कंसल्टेंट और एडवाइस आर टाइम वी गेट पेड फॉर आर टाइम अकॉर्डिंग टू मी डोनेटिंग आर टाइम एंड वी ऑल आर डूइंग इट नाउ एट नाउ वी आर हेल्पिंग ईच अदर गिविंग अस टाइम फॉर डेवलपिंग आर पर्सनैलिटीज आर स्पीकिंग स्किल्स एंड ऑल स्टफ लाइक दैट सो आई थिंक डोनेटिंग योर टाइम टू योर रिलेशनशिप to your close friend makes a big thing in a in a life and i would say kisi ko bhi paisa nahi chahiye sab log ja rahe hai pas paisa pratishtha ke piche but i think what you can give to your close ones is time nobody needs your uh, ki mere ko gucci ka to bag de ya mujhe to ye de everyone needs your time ya to mujhe baat kare like we i am not a localite so my friend se aaj nahi milna aaj nahi milna hai kal milte will plan after day words but i say मुझे तेरा टाइम चाहिए तो उसे दो मिनट बात के लिए आई डोंट नीड एनीथिंग एल्स फ्रॉम यू जस्ट गिव इट मी योर टाइम सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू गिव योर क्लोज वन योर रिलेटिव अ लिटिल बिट टाइम बिकॉज़ रिलेशनशिप्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन लाइफ थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच 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 थैंक यू सो मच
getting donation. So unfortunate, it should not happen to anybody. But if anything happens, we should be useful to somebody. So to take, so this is the, uh, if you permit one. So the last topic is, there is one last topic and I wanted to cover. So Hari Priya. Yeah, it's Hari Priya. Thank you. I was very hesitant to come. Yeah. So when we are living on hmm. the earth, we okay. have exploiting the resources of the earth. Hmm. And when we say we have to give back to the time has come that we have somehow we have to give back to earth also. Okay. So when we are consuming the resource, your topic is how do you think that we can give back to the mother earth? Okay, so we are living on this planet and this planet is all we have. We don't have any other planet to live on. And this has given us everything. You know, our body is made up of uh, elements, right? And one of these, that is earth. And we are made of, like, we are stardust, right? And we have to, like, this is our mother. So we have to give back something to it. And we can, like, at least one thing we can do is plant a, uh, like, plant or plant a, pla like, something. And, like, I also have a uh, plant. And it's, uh, its name is Mowgli. And it is a Mogreka fool. Yeah, and like whenever I go and look at it, and it just feels like that. Uh, well, uh, last time, uh, maybe like yesterday only, I was you know, uh, teaching one of my students about trees only, and yeah, and like, why do we save trees? Why should we save trees? So, like, it is not that is even a li like living being, and as a humanity, we shouldn't even like just have a a compassion for humans, but with like uh, other beings as well. So that's how we get back to the earth. Yes. Yeah. So that's the end of the global conversation. Just to continue on the Haripya's topic, that when we say we want to give back to earth, there are many forms again when we give back to earth, what we can do. But normally when we see that, uh, uh, how to reduce the carbon, uh, how to cut the carbon from the atmosphere. There are three ways to do it. I just learned it so that I will share it. Uh, one way is to put the trees and we can do that by increasing the forestation. Second way is to have the carbon sinks wherein we put the carbon sinks. There are professional running projects where organizations set up the carbon sinks. The plantation goes on. It is different from the forest. And third is directly uh, getting the carbon uh, from the atmosphere and dumping it into the ground for many, many years to uh, many, many years so that it doesn't come out into the atmosphere. Again. So there are three ways by which we can reduce the carbon from the atmosphere. So this is the end of the table topic session. I will hand over to our mod, Fakshi. Thank you, Fakshi. Thank you, Toastmaster Bhushan. Uh, you have done a wonderful job by taking the topic that in line with the theme so that the theme floods around. And I also acknowledge all the participants here that they narrated their personal anecdotes and make it a grand success. Now is the time to call upon the timer. Present. So timing wise, today's tables topics have been impeccable. All speakers have qualified. On average, today's speakers have spoken for about 1 minute and 21 seconds. Thank you. Now, another way. Another way of expressing kindness is helping someone, especially the needy one. In every holy book, it is written that lending a helping hand is a noble deed. In our society, uh, there is an elderly woman who, uh, who works as a cleaner and served her special child son. Due to safety reasons, uh, shared autos are not allowed inside. So they have to walk uh, daily uh, for miles to the main gate. And even during their returns to home, they even carry bundle of twigs on the head, uh, apparently for cooking. And fortunately, when I'm returning to office during that time, I offer them ride to the main gate. Although to you, it seems to be a very small gesture, but for me, it brings a great satisfaction, gratification, 
looking at their grateful expression and whatever i have narrated earlier that i have become compassionate and gratitude uh, showing gratitude towards the others so working on such acts of humility has taught me to appreciate the small acts of kindness that can bring a big difference in someone's life and i even hope that rw members will soon take an initiative to provide the transportation facility so that such people can be helped before sharing uh, another story it's the time to start the final session of the meeting the evaluation session it is said evaluation is not an easy role as it needs determination to be tougher in the situation where we expect leniency with his determination that was reflected in his past speeches g of the day toastmaster jignesh will take the evaluation section forward let's welcome g toast uh, of the day toastmaster jignesh with the huge honor thank you toastmaster of the day uh, tm janki and warm welcome to all of you for the last uh, session of this uh, today's meeting it's a evolution session and i am a jignesh panchal and i playing a role of uh, general evolutor let me start with a small my personal story uh, to explain the general evolutor and feedback importance so uh, one day a few years ago when my son was a 5 year old at at the time we visited one of my family uh, friends uh, house and they served uh, delicious uh, snacks with a different bowls with a single spoon so my son is not that much mature and he don't know how to use a single spoon uh, for all these bowls so he did a mistake and he generally uh, followed the routine practice and my wife got angry same time so uh, i give a sign him uh, please calm down right now uh, it's not a right time to <laughs> angry or other uh, at, in front of guest so when we came back to home i just explain you just give a feedback at here at home uh, so next time onwards he will implement in uh, he will implement and he follow the instruction so same thing uh, we can do it here like uh, toastmaster club is a uh, uh, consider as a, your home whatever the feedback you will get it from here that we you will implement in your personal life your workplace uh, uh, your social gathering and anywhere you want to use it so please uh, use construct uh, please use uh, positively this constructive feedback that you will get uh, during this session so i am not getting much uh, much time and i am giving the overview of the overall uh, uh, evolution session so this session is uh, divided into the multiple parts uh, first one is a uh, Uh, prepared speech evolution this is uh, prepare uh, this is assigned uh, with uh, uh, evolutors second one is a uh, toastmaster evolution and uh, third one is a uh, tag team uh, presented their uh, submitted their report and the uh, final one i am giving the general evolution how this meeting is impeccably running uh, uh, so i am invited uh, first uh, uh, evolutor uh, tm tarun he is a very good speaker and most of the time i found it he is a impeccable speaker and uh, he is impressed uh, uh, with his speech to everyone so i would invite to uh, tm tarun uh, he is uh, uh, he will he will be evaluating the speech of tm janki over to tm tarun thank you ji i am the king of life i am the king of life a famous i will i, I will quote a famous uh, quote from mahatma gandhi <clears throat> your belief becomes your thought your thoughts becomes your word your word become your action your action becomes your habit your habit becomes your value and your value becomes your destiny good morning to toastmasters and fellow guests today my focused speaker tm janki did a wonderful job she started her speech with a phrase you are what you believe yourself to be she engaged the audience immediately by putting a question to the audience that was very positive of you then as her speech progressed she put two stories into it and one was is her own story how she managed keeping her belief strong how she succeeded what was to be achieved she maintained a good eye contact 
she engaged the audience very well her so ha <clears throat> sorry her speech had the body the se uh, middle section as well as the conclusion so that was very good of you there are few learnings which as a evaluator i feel you should include in your speech which would make you a better speaker first observation which i did was throughout the speech your hands were crossed so once you have have your hands crossed it shows you a, show, a sign of nervousness that you are not you are not confident enough for delivering the speech and you are nervous so avoid crossing your hands try to make them free and use them in your speech second is your voice tone <clears throat> like when you concluded your theme like i am the king of life you could have increased your voice tone so that and maybe engage the audience more so that would have given a better impact on conclusion and third is what i feel is like if you practice more using a mirror in front of you try to deliver the speech i think that would build in more confidence in you overall the speech was excellent you engage the audience you maintain a good eye contact keep this few improvements in you and try to implement in your next speech and i definitely see you as a great speaker all the best over to you ji thank you tarun for giving a wonder <clears throat> a uh, very constructive feedback now i will i would call to tm nikhil uh, he will you will lead the speech of uh, tm kalpes tm nikhil is a well experienced you will lead over to tm nikhil good morning all so today i will have very good points regarding tosh master kalpes speech the way he has started it was superb like started with the tamasoma jyoti gamaya immediately he just asked the question how many of know about this sanskrit mantra so in you know, tosh master kalpes you have very superb start very well organized your body in between and you have very effective conclusion so i thoroughly enjoy your speech uh, there are so many positives i found in your 5 6 minute speech and i think all the audience they'll get benefits about that for any of the public speaking you know there are two things is very important either we have either we have to be interesting or we have to be interested right how we can be interesting earlier time it was we need to share story but nowadays because of youtube and everything people know story so the second is personal story usually audience would not know about our personal story and the same thing those master kalpes has done he added two stories first that about his childhood uh, how his mom used to you know put him to the school and you know cherry on the cake is he used that back so we all can enjoy and we all are aligned with your speech and the second story that you added you about your uh phd subject change so your personal story has made your speech so far apart from that i also found other positives like you use asis bhattacharya and gitanjali ma'am the names in your speech you know it really impacting the audience your eye contact was superb you have used the stage you also you know you did that action with that back it was superb your body part it was very well organized in three sections and of course the enlight enlightenment it's not the destiny but it's a process right so how we can you know more smoother and better this process i have only two suggest like in case if you are using such kind of the stories and i know these are the sanskrit mantra it is really difficult to remember so rather than keeping you can use the slides so that's how you don't need to even remember and you can use that reference i also believe it's good in our speech we can ask at least two to three questions you just ask one question so i will like i'll uh, suggest you to add couple of questions so that all the audience can engage with your story 
but overall it was superb speech and the very important part about your conclusion it was very much aligned with your topic about the spirituality you have concluded with the sense of gratitude it makes your speech completely perfect wish you all the best for the next level thank you very much thank you tm nikhil uh, for giving the a very constructive and a very positive feedback to uh, tm kalpes now i would like to invite uh, tm hiren i am very eager to listen his speech because every time he is uh, coming with something new so welcome to tm hiren thank you mr general evaluator my fellow members guest and especially toastmaster jyoti hope this time you heard it right uh, well uh, one poor woman with her son came to mahatma gandhi and she said that uh, please advise my son that not to eat enough sugar too much sugar uh, mahatma gandhi said that you come after one month after one month she came back again and uh, same uh, uh, request he said and mahatma gandhi told that son that do not eat enough sugar you sh it's a bad for your health people surrounded mahatma gandhi asked that uh, why you did like that that poor woman had to travel so much and you called her just to say this thing after one month mahatma gandhi says that i myself was eating too much sugar that time so how can i advise to that son that do not eat enough sugar the moral of the story is practice what you are going to preach and that's what toastmaster jyoti has done that she wanted to motivate herself first when she wanted to motivate everyone else so it was a very wonderful speech i would say i am not going to repeat what she has uh, said not to spoil the very beautiful message she has already delivered but i would say that the content wise speech was excellent why because opening was with a quote and then there was a personal story in the content there was humor she talked about hard laddus and she also talked about powdery laddus so that was a very good humor and that way we were connecting with the speech and then there was an impactful turning of that speech when the neighbor criticized her uh, cooking skills and uh, that was the time we started realizing that what message is going to come and that was a very nicely beautifully you diverted that speech towards the uh, message motivational message that we should not be judging the people if we start judging the people we won't be able to love them uh, improvement wise i would only only say that uh, you can even open up little bit further because your body language was fine but uh, you can open up why because you are already a very good speaker so that is the only improvement speech connection wise i would say that i haven't heard any claps in between a speech and i could hear that within the speech there were a clap not only that when the speech ended the duration of clap was even longer that i could uh, find out that so that says that you had a very well connect with the audience motivation wise i myself is motivated i am sure most of us are motivated by your story uh, i am very curious now to your next speech thank you very much and over to you thank you jm hiran for clarity of your thoughts analysis and give a wonderful evolution of for tm jyoti now it's a call to timer i call up on a timer for give uh, submit his report for the evaluator all three evaluators have qualified timing wise uh, tm tarun took 2 minutes and 32 seconds tm nikhil took 3 minutes and 12 seconds and tm hiren took 2 minutes and 30 seconds okay so now it's uh, time for playing a my role how entire meeting was running and uh, give a more positive uh, give a more positive as well as constructive point uh, towards the meeting so start with the uh, assigning of my role uh, i assign my i have self assigned my role two weeks ago which shows the meticulous uh, with the vtm his preparation i i got privileged to know that we can fix our our role much in advance uh, it shows the professionalism of the vtm team so uh, who are 
uh, participate in this activity. I really appreciate that day. And uh, now uh, this is uh, time for uh, my feedback. The rest of the meeting, uh, the meeting. Oh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay. So it's a time for I, I forgot about this. Sorry. So it's a time for uh, a table topic evaluator. Uh, uh, TM. Sorry. Hello, everyone. I'm your table topic uh, evaluator for the day. I'm Toastmaster Kuldeep, and I will be giving feedback on on your table topic. So let me begin without further ado. So I, what I'll be do, the format I'll be dividing it in is that I'll be giving two positives and one negative for each speaker. So, uh, guest Vishaka, you, for the first time, you had uh, she had great voice clarity, good action and body language, but I felt that you stood a bit back from the stage. You should have stood further, right in the center. You can see the camera there, so you could have known. Uh, guest Sushil was next. His his topic was how you spend your time with the elderly. You, you He had good eye contact, but if I may say that he had closed off body language and and his and he had a, a flat tone when speaking. Whenever we speak to the uh, to a crowd, the thing is that it's the voice tonality that matters. Whenever you go up and down, that is what the public is going to pick up on. Uh, our our next uh, speaker was Toastmaster Nikhil, who's a very experienced speaker, and his topic was receiving calls every day. How do you deal with it? So he's a very good speaker. So he had a solid reasoning and he elaborated on it properly, and he had good body language. But he is a good speaker, very articulate and all that. But he, he does not infuse that much humor into it. Maybe if I could say that he, he could have uh, used a bit of humor and said... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I thought of the thing. But uh, yes, he, the Google al algorithm. We have the Google algorithm. Whenever you say or some, something or speak something, search something, automatically the, it starts pop, popping up in our feed. And you start getting phone calls. You could have said that even whether I ask God, whether, you know, if I ask God or not, but at least these guys, whether God hears me or not, but the the call center guys definitely do. Right? Uh, uh, guess Ashish. Uh, some help you received that you remember. Content, uh, the content was good. And you referenced some, a major and you, and you referenced Dr. Kalam. But, but I felt that your body language, his body language was closed off because he kept his hands in his pockets. That is a universal si a sign that you're hiding something. What? I don't know. But <laughs> and uh, your, your eye contact, you kept on looking up for some reason. I, I, I don't know why. And you kept on focusing on this side, I believe. I, I don't know. Maybe there was something there, but yes. Okay. Uh, the next guest was guest Tisha. Uh, Yeah, her topic was the what is the best uh, in food, education, and or money. So she had good body language for, and she had an outgoing kind of uh, completely outgoing body language. So for a fresh, I could not find fault in her, but I just felt that uh, that it's 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 always better to avoid mixing the two languages whenever it's either you're going to speak in one or the other. Uh. TM Nikki, uh, Toastmaster Nikki, very recently a new Toastmaster. So, so she, her topic was organ donation, I believe. She spoke well and confidently, but I felt that also she lacked voice tonality. She had a very flat tone. And when you're speaking about organ donation, it it should not. It makes me feel a certain kind of way because I am not in support of it just yet for myself. But I would like to get there. But it sh it should come because it's something that you're going to commit your body to. So that should show up in your body language and it, sh it should show up in, in your approach. Right? And a guest, Haripriya, how to give back to our planet. Guest Haripriya was, it, it was her first time she hit the, she got off the ground and hit, she got off the ground running with a good, with a good opening statement. We have uh, nowhere else to go. We really don't have anywhere else to go. So, 
she was right in that and she and she told a personal story she she said she had a plan called mogli so that was directly it made a lot of people laugh as well so eye contact was not uh, covering the entire room whenever you whenever you give a speech it should be that you can reach the last guy at the back and you should reach the the guy at the front as well everywhere that is the feeling that the room should get so maybe you can work on that and that is my evaluation for the day and i would like to hand it back to our speak <clears throat> thank you now i will call to tm adil for the uh, my grammarian and uh, counter report welcome to tm adil for the, once again good afternoon thank you so much general evaluator toastmaster jignesh once again i am back as a conscious body and a grammarian body so i would switch but i first i will start with our counter you might feel that i would create a ruckus because i was managing too much stuff i try to cover the whole ground but if i miss someone please apologize me so with our counter i would name the person and how many times they have utilized or used a or any other filler words or as i mentioned earlier a crutch word toastmaster ashish used a thrice toastmaster sakshi your nemesis or crutch word is and that was a repeated word janki you used four times a kalpesh five times more than five times a you know and and are your nemesis or crutch word jyoti and is your uh, crutch word you, you didn't use a i could sense that vishaka uh, if i guest vishaka you used three times a toastmaster bhushan three times a guest sushil three times a toastmaster nikhil so and you know are your nemesis or crutch word guest ashish three times four times a guest tisha i couldn't i couldn't note any crutch or filler words similarly for toastmaster nikki guest hari priya like and write are your nemesis and one times you use a toastmaster jignesh more than five times a and kuldeep more than five times a so i would leave you with a feedback or would lead leave you with a suggestion you might have noticed even i fumbled but i took a pause i didn't use a so in it's inevitable we going we will fumble and it would happen if, even though you are prepared well it would happen rather than using a a or a filler word it comes unconsciously but try to be conscious about the filler words that i have given to you you would note that oh i would be using a particular word rather step back relax take a pause and move on so that's a good habit to follow so that we can get away from our nemesis which is a, a filler word that i'm using again and again but it goes well with a crutch word so now now i would step into the shoes of grammarian i had filled three pages but i would covered quickly because i have to give the five deadly words that i had presented early i would stick with good word use it so toastmaster sakshi used number of good words fervent anecdote then courteous then there was one more tweak gratification and there were many but i couldn't note it down so that was the good usage of the word vocabulary similarly toastmaster kalpesh used eradicate analogous immortal and guess vishaka use horrified and practice what you preach was used by a phrase which was used by toastmaster irin toastmaster janki used we are not what happened to us we are what we believe so that's a good quote there was one more quote by jyoti if you judge people you have no time to love them by mother teresa and jyoti it reiterated it so this were the good usage and the word of the day and phrase of the word of the day was used used by toastmaster kalpesh toastmaster hiren toastmaster jyoti almost but she did miss but we understood your intention toastmaster ashish used it and toastmaster jignesh 
phrase of the day was used by sakshi and at the end when i was just about to close my pen kuldeep used the word so that was the usage of good phrase uh, good phrases as well as word of the day and phrase of the day minor connection correction that i would storm pass as soon as possible because i don't want to pinpoint someone someone used maximum maximum happiness maximum hurting the parallel it goes that maximum happiness maximum hurt or minimum hurt but hurting doesn't go with happiness so you should use a parallel structure there was i would say pronunciation i would the salutation mistake someone use that mr table topic uh, sorry mr toastmaster of the day it should be miss toastmaster of the day five year little kid it should be five year old kid little as the age suggests elder people has people is used as a plural in most of the case so it should be elder elder people have such kind of words instead it should be words such as and then example this is one of the deadly combination i will explain further major come with me it should be major came with me fly with the colors it should be with flying colors and sometimes in between there was more usage of hindi and it has been covered by toastmaster kuldeep so i won't emphasize more on that part sometimes that we do here it was the sentence was something that we can do here it should be something that we can follow here that was very positive good of you that was very positive point about your speech of you it's more towards the character but we should be speaking or sticking to the speeches few improvements in you it should be keep this feedback or improvement in your mind and with this i have already covered lot of ground but the deadly five that i have brought in just an overview i the next slide please so i have just given an overview i won't go into intricacies like versus as 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 a huge role to play but always remember whenever you are using like it should always follow a noun i like my mother i want to be a good artist so like my mother then it follows i so it should follow noun to noun whenever as is there as should follow a clause that is a verb or it can also be there are various form of as such as is one of it such as is used to give an example it was used by toastmaster sakshi in one of the case so it's a good use it for example when when we use for example you can instead use such as not like so that's a like versus as there was some mistake in the speech but we can work upon it so was one of the r counter i didn't purposely mention it because i was to cover that part so act as a coordinate conjunction it follows a cause and effect so if i was late so i did this i came late so i did this so whenever there is a cause relation please use so never start a sentence with a so most of the time we start the sentence so and and is a similar nemesis we never start a sentence with and whether it a coordinate conjunction or a list past perfect present perfect so past perfect always remember whenever it's a past of past to give an example in the meeting 270 before the 275th meeting i had prepared so i gave a reference of a past incident that is 275th meeting which was in past and before that meeting so past of past always use had and present perfect is something that happened in past but it has an impact i will leave you with an example so that you can ponder upon the second one because we as a colloquial speaker in our languages we tend to miss this the gray line between had and have and last but not the least the articles i couldn't emphasize more or focus more today but that is something we need to work upon we tend to use uh, a and the as a filler word as and when p5 and last slide so this is a sentence grammarian as a grammarian i mentioned the speaker dash use the word of the day and phrase of the day what should it be that's correct ha huh? someone said had
so you have learned thank you back to you generally thank you dm adil for the fabulous job you did a uh, something new in this meeting <laughs> so sorry for that i missed the sequence uh, of the general evaluator and because of that these things happened but i will take care of uh, next time onwards so i already mentioned that a uh, role assigning related stuff now i i am giving the my feedback for the rest of the meeting so sagesh i am uh, open meeting with a great smile and introduce club uh, Uh, and toastmaster mission and do's and don'ts he he might be missed the uh, forget to he missed the location of the restroom facility and drinking facility so uh, he is doing uh, playing this role first time that is why this might be happen uh, then came to the president i like the way he acknowledge uh, all the dignities i like the way he used the our club achievements advertise uh, of the club he by uh, new uh, new member uh, renew and renew the strength and re uh, renew the membership he shows the strength of the club i love the remetize of the club keep it up the president and all credits goes to the president for that then come to the tm od tm od as uh, adil said that he used uh, sorry he used a lot of uh, new words that i need to use a dictionary for that uh, so she is exuberant abrant and extraordinary i i feel she feel the humorous words uh, uh, when whenever is uh, applicable she sprinkle the humor <clears throat> humor i like the theme uh, she brought in today uh, she introduced the uh, <clears throat> silent role players i mean tag uh, tag uh, tag, uh, tag counters of the meeting i like the way Uh, she incorporate the introduction of uh, of the each uh, role players and the uh, uh, speak uh, speakers. I felt she was uh, well pre well planned and her role uh, meticulously delivered. Congratulations, TMOD, uh, for the fabulous job. Then we have introduced the timer, aha counter, and a grammar and rule. So as uh, I said, uh, TM Adil uh, presented some different way. Uh, to present this role how uh, how this role is playing and uh, uh, tm asis uh, he, he immediately informed this role previously this role assigned to tm arun so he took a responsibility and shows the uh, shows his responsibility to the uh, to towards the toastmaster and very well prepared uh, so, sorry very well presented uh, form the timer role appreciate uh, tm assist for that uh, then i like the way how the speakers uh, are in line up uh, with the various topic and all the speeches shows that they have well uh, well self mentored let me now take back to the evolution the uh, first evolutor uh, tm tarun i like the feedback however and i impressed with uh, is he started meeting with the uh, quote that is narrated by uh, tm janki uh, tm tarun shows his energy and uh, i like the uh, he recommended uh, to the feedbacks uh, good job uh, tm tarun <clears throat> and you are a great evaluator uh, then i i like to go with the uh, evaluator uh, Uh, second evaluator tm nikhil uh, for the genuine feedback uh, indeed the excellent speech the evaluator who justice for the speaker uh, good job tm nikhil uh, let us now move to the third evaluator i was amazed and uh, amazed by the delivery analysis and clarity of your thoughts uh, and i like the recommendation of this speech i have the way to the uh, i i love the way to connect with your you will you to the speaker thank you and uh, giving her the opportunity congratulations then uh, move to the table topic master uh, tm bhushan uh, i love all the topics and love the way he introduced the role of the table topic master and how he announced the topic in advance and include all the guest uh, participate into it uh, very well job done uh, uh, tm bhushan and uh, tm bhushan also play a role of uh, Uh, book of the day 
so in a book of the day i no need to read this book because he presented each and everything of uh, this book in a in a summary form but definitely when i will get a chance then I, or in my next opportunity i will definitely read this book and uh, uh, tm T.M. Kuldeep, sorry. <laughs> T, uh, yes, uh, Toastmaster Evaluator T.M. Kuldeep, he presented very well manner. He started uh, evaluation in a 3.2 positive point and one negative point, uh, one constructive point. So this is the best way to do evaluation because this uh, eight or nine evaluators. So within a, uh, within a given time frame, uh, he evaluate each and every uh, participant. So credit goes to you, uh, T.M. Kuldeep, appreciate. And I love the uh, and as a general evaluator, let me conclude. Uh, also provide the gratitude to the ti uh, timer, uh, gratitude to the uh, TMOD and all other participants who take part in this uh, meeting. As a gist, I like the theme. Uh, even if you have a little uh, uh, theme, give th thank you TMOD. And uh, finally, uh, I saw that all guests as well as uh, uh, Toastmaster member, uh, I see the greetings with the smile. So this is happened only because of the great environment of the Toastmaster. So appreciate all the participate and uh, uh, participate who and who arranges uh, arrangement for this meeting. Thank you. Uh, good luck and hope to see you again. Hand over to your Please open the polls are open for voting. Uh, thank you, Jean, for thank you, Jean, for such an insightful evaluation. Third contribution already questioned by Toastmaster Bhushan. The best thing we can offer to someone is the time and knowledge that we possess. Because they very famous so that the biggest way in which we can fight to poverty is to empower people to access a quality education. At my hometown, when I used to stay here, uh, our help used to uh, take her daughter along with her. And one day out of curiosity, I just asked that in which class she is. And in a very distressed tone, she said, we have no money to send her to school. That day, I have realized that there are n number of students who want to study, but due to the financial constraints or some other reasons, they have to shatter, they have to shed their dreams. And then I decided to uh, teach her on Sunday. And you'll be all amazed to hear that we not only got her admitted to school, but my mom still teaches her. So I exhort everyone. Thank you. I exhort everyone present here. To be a candle in someone's life and dispel the darkness of ignorance by bringing enlightenment in their life through the power of knowledge and wisdom. And last but not the least, you all remember Kern. Kern is remembered for his charity deed. So it's all up to you how you'll be a Kern in someone's life. By being a support to the speechless or by being a guiding light in someone's life. And last, by being a candle in someone's life by imparting knowledge. So that's all about the theme. With this, I hand over to the our presiding officer, Toastmaster Dutch. Good afternoon, everyone. So what a beautiful theme uh, it was for today's session. Give even if you have a little. Since I did not have a chance to speak on the table topic, and since we have time, I would like to narrate you a small story. Again, which is relating to giving, even if you have little. So the story about a frog. A frog, while jumping through a window, falls into a water which is on stove and which is getting hot, heated. The frog seems it is okay since the water is warm and it is able to still adjust the body temperature according to the temperature of the water. The water starts a little bit 
the temperature rises, the water starts boiling. Still, the frog feels that it is still okay to be here since her, her the body temperature is still able to withstand the heat. But at the 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 more the stove rises, the more the water starts boiling. It is at the point where now the frog feels starts feeling the heat. Now, when it tries to jump out, it's unable to jump, right? Because now the body temperature is not able to adjust to the rising temperature of the water. The frog is in such a situation that the temperature has risen so high that he is stuck. He is unable to move or jump out of the pot and finally he gives up and dies. So with that story, what I would like to tell is like the mother nature. It has been giving us so many opportunities, so many ways to give back. And we like frog are sitting in a vessel waiting for the right moment to jump or to give back. So if we keep on sitting in the vessel or keep on within our boundaries waiting for the right time to jump and give back, it would be a time that we, do, we will not be left with any time to jump and give back, right? We, we are seeing, we are seeing the extreme temperatures, the extreme rains, the extreme winters, right? And unconditional rains and everything. So I also read one book where uh, it, it was related to when this corona hit. There was a scientist somewhere who, like as human being, whatever is available is free, we try to use it to the maximum, right? Whatever resources are available, air, water, grass, whatever things are in, available is free, we consume it to that extent that it starts depleting. So when it starts depleting, the mother nature will have its own way to take revenge, right? When the population is at such a level where it cannot be controlled, there may be no other ways, but the nature will take its own way to see that it comes back to a balance. So this story of a frog in a boiling water, trying not to jump out, relates to our nature of not giving back to Mother Earth in terms of what we are getting it free. So it is the right time to act. Don't wait until it becomes too late. Right? So with that, I would urge everyone uh, with a beautiful theme what TM Shakshi has taken up today that let us all as part of Toastmaster try to give something or at least maybe spend a little of our time and energy to Mother Nature as well so that our future generation won't face extremes what we are already seeing it starting to happen okay so with that i will conclude on the theme for today but before we conclude on the meeting as a token of appreciation we would uh, distribute certificates to the best speaker back best evaluator best table topic speakers and best role player so i would like to call tm shakshi tm Modi on stage and present the certificate for today Best evaluator, Toastmaster Hire. <laughs> Best table topic speaker, guest Visha. Best supporting role player. Uh, 
we have some guests who have joined in late so i would urge if you can give some feedback on this session maybe you can you can come down here and just maybe share your feedback about my name is dheerav devre okay i am born and brought up in baroda itself but unfortunately fortunately this is the first time i have been here okay through some medium okay but uh, as they say destiny wants me to be here okay and i think this will be the best association okay for overall development for myself as also for the guests who are over here and uh, you guys are doing amazing job okay the the way adil handled okay the session okay giving some insights of the education the guests were also uh, provided wonderful insights okay improv it was completely impromptu i was i just uh, came to know uh, this time only but uh, let's see uh, how we can move on to this journey okay i am excited to join uh you can see i am little bit nervous but that's why i'm here <laughs> yeah my name is michael I'm from Uganda. I came here about four years ago, and uh, as a student, I made a transition about a year back. So, um, I had about Toastmasters from a hero of mine. He's a Toastmaster. He's from my continent. So I looked it up, and then I came here. So yeah, this is my first time, and I'm happy to be here. I love the energy. I love the evaluations and everything going on. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, my name is Varun, and uh, I'm actually an ex-post master. I was associated uh, with one of the clubs in uh, Ahmedabad back in 2019. then the pandemic hit and everything everything went on so i uh, continued my journey till whenever i could but then i lost interest because of the online aspect of it and uh, it is now after one and a half years that i actually got the time to start attending these meetings uh, i did attend one of the toastmaster meetings at vtm last year but then it was again a hybrid model like most things were online so again i was not very encouraged um but this was a very fun meet i really enjoyed coming back here you know getting back into the system seeing everything executed in a slightly in a slightly different way i do remember everything uh and it was fun to hear all these speeches the evaluations the table topics a uh, very productive uh, sunday i would say thank you thank you so much anyone would like so like i am very hesitant in uh, speaking in public and i don't know how to speak and like i fumble a lot but uh, i am trying uh, and like i loved it here and like the atmosphere is very supportive and i can see like everyone even the evaluators are like getting the uh, like time and the grammar thing so like that is very inspiring so yeah thank you as rightly said uh, once you are into toast master you take any role at least you will get 2 to 3 minutes to speak so that in a way even if you are not part of prepared speak as a president i am getting so many avenues of speaking <laughs> okay i think we can or anyone has to share anything or we are ahead of time yes yes please we should like Uh, 
thank you mr president for this opportunity actually uh, i read somewhere uh, in the toastmaster bulletin itself that best way to prepare for a table topic is think about some incident already uh, speak about that incident so it's a very good one and try to connect that incident with uh, the table topic that has come up so that way you will feel people will feel that oh very nice table topic so i kept one topic uh, for with me and i hadn't had a chance to speak about that so i thought i will say that and i will try to connect that with the uh, table topic today was about donation that uh, and in a way i wanted to also tell you that i visited south korea uh, what happened that i had to go to south korea and uh, the secretary of south korea office told me that hiran um, you have you have, you mentioned that you are vegetarian and uh, can you eat uh, fish or can you eat prawns or uh, seafood i said that uh, i told my wife that see this is what they are thinking that vegetarian can eat uh, uh, this uh, seafood and all that so my wife gave me nice laddus the same one that you mentioned but it was neither uh, hard one or not powdery form it was in between uh, was nice and uh, she added a lot of ghee into it i she gave me five one and uh, i kept uh, three into the check in baggage and two in my hand baggage so that i can eat in between and at hong kong i was just walking by and uh, i was like I, i we had a connecting flight and there was a dog squad came in to check the bomb and all that now my handbag was having to that laddu with a nice buttery flavor so that dog started coming towards my bag and i was standing so tight uh, that what should i do i mean i cannot do anything and he was kept circling around me uh, what do i do like and then he was not barking he was like waving uh, his tail and that uh, policemen were also surprised that what they should do i mean should i they should search me or they should so by the way i mean they dragged the dog away and it was nice first thing i did is i opened my bag and eat both the laddu <laughs> because um, in fact i wanted to give one laddu to one of my colleague that way i wanted to give something back to them i did not i could not do that so i felt guilty about it and that's thought i thought that i will share that with you thank you very much so i think that was on <laughs> next and next so the uh, best way <laughs> that that you should not underestimate us <laughs> she should also not underestimate us <laughs> so it was Yes, we will plan. So, again, using soap. <laughs> Best way to end the Toastmasters. Like, thank you, Hiran, for sharing your thoughts. So, again, let us conclude for today. Before we disperse, we'll have a group photograph, as we do it every time. Thank you, everyone.